Hello, welcome to Anirudha's Creative Learners. Today we will learn how to use layers as well as layer masks. Let us start. This project I have created to save time. Whenever we click on this plus icon and click on any object, the particular object or shape comes into the artboard and it makes a new layer. So we can see this layer there is one eye symbol if we click that particular eye symbol and close it then that layer becomes invisible so this layer we have selected now so we can see similarly we have made some more layers by clicking on this plus icon so these are different layers now let us see how to use the multiple layers. Now this layer is above this yellow color layer and I want to move this layer below this yellow color circle. Then what I have to do is I have to press and hold it here. Then I have to click here and drag it down in this right corner where you can see three slipping lines now you can see here that we have moved that particular layer similarly we can move the layers like this now I will hold this and move up ok so what are the options available in the layers we can press and hold here for a few seconds then press and hold now I have selected these three layers here we can see green line bounding three layers so one two three so these three layers are selected now we can see there are some options above here so it is showing that we have selected three layers to deselect we have to click on this cross symbol this is to group the three layers if we tap on this we can see there is one group formed and this group we can move this group <coughs> when we move now and this group will move so this is a group Now I am clicking on undo. Okay. So now to ungroup, what we have to do is we have to press here. Sorry. We have to select this layer and go in this particular corner. Click here and click on this ungroup. So all the layers are ungrouped again. Now we can press and hold like this or we can directly press on that particular object okay, to select those layers. Two options are available. Now it is the this is the first option, this is second option, this is masking and third option is also masking which we will see at the end of this particular session. <coughs> now if we click this delete all these three layers will be deleted click here so here few more options are there if we click on this particular icon all the objects get aligned to the left side if we click here they get aligned in the center and then similarly on the right side if clicking this will lead to all the layers getting aligned upwards Similarly, horizontal center and getting a line them downwards. Imagine a slipping line over here and all objects are standing on the line. Now, this particular star is there. We will move this star. We can see the two stars. Three stars are not 
equidistant means the distance between this star and this star is more this and this is less but we want to keep all these stars in exact distance so what we will do is select this select mm, press and hold press press okay so we have selected these three stars we can press and hold here also so these three stars are selected now now click here so this is the icon to place these objects which are horizontally kept okay so the distance between these three objects is exactly same now similarly for objects which are vertically aligned see we can see these three objects are there so what we have to do is we have to press and hold this 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 okay we have selected them and click here so they are vertically equally distant now the distance between this and this is same and this and this is same but alignment is not proper what we have to do is we have to again press and then click on center alignment now we can see the alignment is perfect so in graphic designing this perfectionism is very much valuable so whenever it is required we should use all these options rather than manually adjusting them now we will come to the topic of masking which we have left so what we do is we will select this and we'll select this pink rectangle now we'll go back to this two layers selected we can see and now if we click this what happens the object which is between these two i will show you again. so when we are pressing particular this object first so it acts as a mask on the second object which is selected so it acts as a mass now this particular icon has a meaning that it will show whatever is under this particular mask that is yellow circle pressing this will lead to which result it will show whatever is below this particular area circle area exactly like this now the circle is gone because it has acted as a mask and it has shown only that much area which was under this particular circle see if we select this particular circle first and then this one and if we click this particular icon what will happen this will act the pink circle will act as mass and it will show the area which is under it okay so this particular area only it will show okay. so that means that the meaning of this particular mask this particular mask is it will show the area which is under it now let us see what happens in this so this means it will hide the area which is under this particular mask see let us say this i want to use this particular thing as mask so i will press and hold this and then circle and i will click here so that square is this rectangle is hiding area okay because this is mass and this is the object so i will click here you can see that particular square rectangle has hidden the object hidden that particular area of the circle so this is called as mass mass are applicable when we have already masked and if we want to unmask click here and ungroup and you can get that particular object again okay so 
so these masks are also available on the videos if down there is a video and if you want to show a particular area from the video then you have to put this mask in that particular area and then place the mask and then video and then click on this particular icon so that much area video will be shown so this is how we work with layers what we have learnt is clicking here will lead to adding new objects new objects will form new layers we can move layers by pressing this particular three line icon and moving it up or down like this then we learned by pressing this or pressing here we can select multiple layers then we learned that we can group layers over here we learned that we can ungroup by clicking here also we learned how to align the objects to left to center to right down middle and on a line how to keep the objects in equal distance that we learned for horizontally aligned object this icon for vertically aligned objects this icon and at the end we learned how to use mask select this select this and click here to show that much area under the object select this select this to hide that much area under the mask so try to remember this shows the area under mask this hides the area under mask shows hides thank you for visiting anirudh learners hope this video has helped you to understand how layers and masks are used in a light motion app hari om shri ram ambadnya natamit